What's up, YouTube? Topher Peterson here again with episode 19 of Misadventures in Startups. And this episode is brought to you by Bang Energy Drink. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm at the, uh, the gas station. Okay, so. What am I talking about today in today's episode? I've been vlogging about Startup School 2019 uh, recently and week 5 just wrapped up. It's Sunday right now, so to me, today is the last day of week five, um, but I guess technically the week starts on Sunday or whatever. Anyway, for me, since we are at the halfway point here in startup school, um, I'm a little bit behind. My goal for startup school this year was to roll out the completely redesigned version of my app, Money Phone. Um, it's a personal finance app. Essentially, it's it's just an expense tracker. Um, so my goal, though, for this for this year or whatnot, this isn't my first time doing startup school, was to roll out this redesigned version of my app, which I thought you know might take about half of uh, the startup school uh, duration, which is ten weeks, and then for the last half, I wanted to market the app and try to get some users. Right now I only have four users and I don't know, I only know for sure that I'm using it. Uh, my friends and whatnot um, are signed up and they're getting the text messages and their bank accounts are linked up, but I don't know if they actually are really getting any value out of the app or not. So I don't know, I might have as few as one uh, user. But I think part of that is the app, the original version of the app that I rolled out um, I didn't really design it beforehand. I, um, I knew what information I wanted, and I just kind of built it as quick as possible. And the information that was really most important um, is kind of buried in the app, and you have to know where to look. It's actually teeny tiny little text is the most important thing. So in the redesigned version of the app, I'm just sticking right there, in right, cent right front and center, in the middle of the app, the most important thing when you fire it up. And other useful things, um, I'm going to make it kind of easier to get to. So then, and also the old version of the app, you know, it started out as a web app, um, so it doesn't really look like an app. So the new version is going to look more like an app. It's going to behave more like an app, and the the most important information is going to be right up in the user's face. And I fixed, you know, a lot of other things and whatnot. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, Okay, I know I'm pretty long-winded. So, I have this list here that I made the other day with all of the things that I need to get done to launch the new version of my app. And the list might look kind of long, but I've actually stripped a ton of stuff from the app. The new version of the app actually is going to have, going to have a few things removed that are kind of important. For example, password reset. Um, the, I, you know, I, I figured if I add everything that I want to have in the new version of the app, I'm not going to meet my self-imposed deadline. Um, so I'm having to strip some stuff. So one of those things would be the password reset. I'm just going to roll it out with no password reset. Another thing, I have like a little hamburger button that I had on the new version of the app that was going to have like a menu of you know different things you could do. One of those might have been password reset. I'm stripping. The, I just remove the hamburger button completely so I don't have to I don't have to work on the menu now so now the app it's just gonna have just going to have four screens there's gonna be the cash flow section which I think is the most important um, things it's gonna have the current month's income expenses and then net cash flow so either positive or negative um, the next screen which I think was something that was really useful from the old app but was sort of buried um, was a chart that had um, that measured income and expenses on the same chart. And so the income was in green, it was kind of like a line chart that had a fill and then um, expenses. And the idea was is ideally you want to have as much of a gap between income and expenses as possible. So you want lots of green showing. Um, the higher your expenses, the more that the green got covered up with red. So I thought that was really useful in the old app, so I'm putting that on the second page in the new app. Um, the next screen is going to be cat going to be categories. Um, that was suggested by one of my um, few users that I have. Um, I didn't really care about categories because personally I felt 
I've used mint.com before just to check it out, kind of check the competitors, and I didn't think that their category information was all that accurate. So I didn't want to put that in the app, but one of my users wanted that, so I'm putting it in there for her. And then the last category was in the old version of the app, and that is expenses, kind of ranked greatest to least by merchant. So I've called that category merchants. So I've got four screens in the app now. Um, I've removed some, you know, little things like um, the menus. Gonna, there's not going to be a menu. Um, there's no password reset. Um, there's not going to be a chat widget in the new version because I don't have time. What else am I stripping out? You cannot toggle uh, the, the SMS notifications. So if you sign up, you get notifications. If you don't, you don't. Um, there's not going to be a toggle. At some point, I think they'll all add it back in. But for now, I'm having to remove that. Um, there aren't going to be any spending targets. Um, I don't have time to put that in there. I might add that back in at some point. Um, and you're not going to be able to change your phone number. So I don't know. Maybe I'm taking a step back to take a step forward. I think the new app definitely looks better. It puts um, the information that I want the users to have right up in their face. Um, but there's a few little minor things that are maybe not all that important, like the password reset. Maybe that's not the most critical thing to the app. That's not going to determine whether people use it or not. Um, so anyway, I'm happy with where I'm at. Oh, the whole bang energy thing. You might have been wondering what was up there. I just went to 7-Eleven. I'm parked outside of 7-Eleven right now. I've loaded up on bang energy drinks. And my goal for the next, I guess, 12 hours? I don't know. What time is it? I'm kind of a night person. So it's 7.26. So we'll say my goal for the next eight hours. Just a regular... Um, work day. I'm a night person, so I don't really get rolling early. My goal is to cross all this stuff off this list and launch the new version of my app on the Play Store and the App Store um, tonight in the next eight, I guess eight hours. And that will put me back on track for where I want to be. That only put me one day, you know, behind. We'll be starting week six of startup school and I'll be ready to start marketing. Um, my list, here's kind of what it says, add a heading. Um, a lot of the stuff, just like CSS stuff, I built the app with um, Ratchet, uh, it's a CSS framework, and Apache Cordova. So it's a web app um, that kind of looks like a native mobile app and is wrapped up with Apache Cordova. So user cannot tell that it's really a web app, but um, I guess, what do they call that? A hybrid. It's a hybrid app. Alright, well, this is boring. I'm not going to write all this. Anyway, that's the goal. Eight hours. Um, if I am successful and I push the new version of the app out, I'm going to do maybe a little follow-up celebratory episode. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you guys again, YouTube, in eight hours.